हेलो गेट एस्पिरेंट्स वेलकम टू पार्ट थर्टीन ऑफ गेट सॉइल स्टेट फिजिक्स सीरीज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर फॉर द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एन इज इक्वल टू एन आर ओमेगा आई एन आई एम ओमेगा ऑफ ए मटेरियल विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट नाउ हियर दिस पार्ट इज रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी एंड दिस पोर्शन गिवज यू एब्जॉर्बन Now, first, a nr can be obtained from I, nim and vice versa. Now we know this is given to us, so from here we can calculate n is equal to under root nr omega square plus nim omega square. So this can be calculated, and also we have phi is equal to tan inverse of nim omega. So this comes from basic understanding of complex numbers. So if any one of the terms is known, if n r is known, then we can calculate n i m. So that is correct. So option A is correct. Then B, n i m could be zero. So if the medium is not absorbing, then n i m can be zero. But uh, it is not given like that. Then option C, n is an analytic function in the upper half plane of complex omega plane. Yes, it is correct. And n is independent of omega for some materials. But as we can see, it is function of omega. Both n r and n i m are function of omega, so n is not independent; it depends on omega. So here, two options are correct: option A and option C. Next question: Potassium metal has electron concentration of 1.4 into 10 raised to 28 per meter cube, and the corresponding density of states at Fermi level is 6.2 into 10 raised to 46 per joule per meter cube. If the polyparametric susceptibility of potassium is n into 10 raised to minus k in standard scientific form, then the value of k is here magnetic moment and permeability is also given. Now this can be written as this susceptibility can be written as mu naught into mu b square into density of states upon volume. Now mu naught is equal to four pi into ten raised to minus seven. Value of mu b is given, that is nine point three into ten raised to minus twenty four, the whole square, into density of states per unit volume is given, and it is six point two into ten raised to forty six. So by multiplying this, we'll get six point seven three nine. Into 10 to the power minus 6. So comparing this, we'll get k is equal to 6. So answer for this question is 6 to 6. K is equal to 6. Next question number 43. In two-dimensional square lattice, frequency omega of phonons in the long wavelength limit changes linearly with the wave vector k. Then the density of states of phonons is proportional to. Here it is given that. Omega is proportional to k. Now we know if omega is equal to some constant c and into k raised to s. If this is the case, then in that case, density of states is proportional to omega raised to d by s minus one, where d is dimension and s is the is is that dependence. So here it is two dimensional square lattice, so d is equal to two, and Since it is given in the question that omega is proportional to k, that means s is equal to one. So density of states will be omega two upon one minus one, that is one. So density of states it will be proportional to omega. So option A is correct. Next question: At zero Kelvin, which of the following diagram represents the occupation probability (PE) of energy of states of electron in BCS type semi superconductor? so here uh, it is basically occupancy and at ef whatever be the temperature if temperature is uh, greater than 0 uh, kelvin then ef the energy level uh, fermi energy level is half filled so its occupancy will be half and beyond that the the variation will look like this so option a is correct this option b will be when temperature is 0 uh, kelvin Next question number fifty one. 
इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ ए सॉलिड एट टेम्परेचर टी एस सी इज इक्वल टू गैमा टी वेर गैमा इज कॉन्स्टेंट रिलेटेड टू द थर्मल इफेक्टिव मास ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स देन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट सी इज इक्वल टू इट इज गिवन गैमा इन टू टी एंड वी हैव फॉर्मूला फॉर सी इज इक्वल टू ए टी प्लस बी टी क्यू now this gamma constant is given like this c is equal to the value of that constant is pi square n kb upon 2 tf into t so here we have tf and we know ef is equal to kb into tf so i can write tf is equal to ef by kb so this will be pi square n kb square upon 2 ef into t now if we have we are considering metals then metals have mostly uh, free electrons and for free electrons effective mass is equal to mass of electron and here we are seeing that gamma is proportional to 1 by ef that means and ef is in inversely proportional to mass so it will be proportional to effective mass so here option a is correct so a is correct then option b mef is greater than greater than free electron mass for all solids now it will be same option c temperature dependence of c depends on the dimensionality of solids and option d the linear dependence of c is observed at t much smaller than d by temperature it is correct so this this dependence is dominant only when uh, the temperature is less than much smaller than d by temperature and if temperatures are large then c is proportional to t cube and for small temperature c is proportional to t so here two options are correct a and b next 52 In a Hall effect experiment on an intrinsic semiconductor, which of the following statements are correct? Option A, Hall voltage is also zero, always zero. Option B, Hall voltage is negative if the effective mass of holes is larger than that of electrons. Hall effect can be used to estimate the carrier concentration in the semiconductor. And Hall voltage depends on the mobility of carriers. Now Hall voltage, V H. Is equal to minus I B naught sigma omega into mu. So yes, it depends on mobility of carriers. Mobility is there in the formula. It depends on it. And for intrinsic, if we are considering intrinsic semiconductor, then for intrinsic semiconductor we know R H Hall coefficient is equal to mu p minus mu n upon n e and in bracket mu p plus mu n. Where mu p and mu n are mobilities of holes and electrons. N is charge concentration and E is charge on electron. So, Hall voltage uh, will not necessarily depend on it. So, only option D is correct here. So, option D is correct. Next question number fifty seven. A junction is formed between a metal on the left and n-type semiconductor on the right. Before forming the junction, the Fermi level EF of the metal lies below that of semiconductor. Then, which of the following schematics are correct for the bands and IV characteristics of the junction? So here, metal is on the left hand side and n-type semiconductor is on the right hand side. So that means. This this will look like this. Option A is correct here. It is theory based question, and also IV characteristic will look like this. So option A and C are correct. Here. Next question number sixty two. In an X-ray diffraction experiment on a solid with FCC structure, five diffraction peaks corresponding to one one one, two zero zero, two two zero, three one one, and two 
222 planes are observed using 1.54 angstrom x-rays on using 3 angstrom x-rays on the same solid number of observed peak will be so we have fcc structure and we have this formula bragg's law 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda that means sin theta is equal to n lambda by 2d now value of sin theta it can be a uh, maximum it can be one so let us consider that maximum value only so this will be n lambda upon 2 and d can be written as a upon under root h square plus k square plus l square we can use this formula for fcc lattice that means cubic lattice now for sin theta uh, let us calculate let us consider this one case where sin theta is equal to 1 so for sin theta is equal to 1 so this will be equal to here it will be 1 into 1.54 angstrom this was used into upon 2a into we have 2 into root 3 Now, by solving this, we'll get a is equal to 2.667 angstrom, and let us check its values for all other planes. Okay, so so far what we have done, we have calculated the interatomic spacing for the for that particular solid. Now we'll check if we can get the similar peaks for three angstrom uh, X-ray that we will do now. so and here what i have done uh, that also that sh also i should explain here maximum value of sin theta will be for this plane right so for each plane we can calculate this sin theta but we want to find out the maximum value its maximum value of a so i have considered this value so here if you put h square is equal to 2 square plus 2 square plus 2 square that will be 4 plus 4 plus 4 and that will be 2 root 3 so that is here so we have calculated a now and let us calculate for each plane so first place is 1 1 1 so for that sin theta will be again n lambda upon 2a and in bracket we have h square plus k square plus l square and we have the values of h k and l so this will be so sin theta will be n let us consider first one into lambda lambda is now 3 angstrom upon 2 into this value of a is 2.667 angstrom and this will be under root 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square so under root 3 and that comes out to be 0.9766 which is less than 1 so this is fine so this peak will be observed now check for the second peak 200 now for this sin theta is equal to same formula n is 1 lambda is 3 angstrom Upon two into two point six six seven angstrom two a into under root h square plus l square plus l square so that will be simply two square that is two and this comes out to be one point one two seven now this is greater than one so this is not possible so the number of peaks that can be observed is only this one so answer is one and answer given the answer is one two one. so these were all the questions from gate 2022 paper if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos keep learning